All right, another uh, football manager update. Uh, I left you at the game that's on screen there, that beautiful scoreline as you can see in the right. Liverpool 1, Concord Rangers 2, Aki Serenin's, Serenin's last, uh, last minute goal winning it. Um, I'll take you on to the results after that since then. Uh, we then drew uh, home to Brighton 1-1, one, one, uh, a late equaliser which was an own goal so yeah, tricky game. I think we, we had chance but we just didn't really put ourselves into that game. Then 1-1 one, one away at Leicester, which we got again another late equaliser. Polito's first goal for the club from the penalty spot. Um, that was the we actually wore brown in that game. We actually wore brown in that game. That's the only um time we've actually worn an away strip yet this season. Then we drew 0-0 with Fulham. Fulham were bottom of the league. That was really disappointing considering they had a man sent off as well. Just didn't get into it. None of nobody performed. Yeah, a bit really disappointing. Uh then we beat Birmingham 3-0. Um obviously get revenge on Birmingham. The last time we played them was the uh championship playoff final where we lost 3-2. Yeah, beat them. Uh, Aki Serena scored twice and Polito scored as well. So these guys are starting. The new signings are starting to click. Um, then we played Wolves at home and beat them 4-2. Tough game. Um, one up, one that was 1-1 one, one, and then they went 2-1 up. Then we equalised pretty soon after. Then two late goals in the second half won it. Um, Serena scored again. And a lovely goal from Daniel James. He's I, I've not started him in the league this season, but he scored three goals. So he's doing all right. Then we lost. Um, only our second league defeat this season. Um, lost to Burnley, and Burnley were in the relegation zone at the time as well, which was really disappointing. But it was our second game in three days, which I thought was a bit harsh. But yeah, Serena scored again. And uh, then we played Villa, beating 3 0. Diego scored his first goals of the season, 1 3 0. Happy with that. So goals are starting to happen. You know, 3 0, 4 2, lost 2 1, but then more 3 0. So it's, the goals are starting to come. And now. I've come to you a bit earlier. I said it's going to be Chelsea. Um, I thought I'd show you this game. I'm going to have a bit of a bumper episode. I have a three-game episode. I thought it'd be nice. Man City, Leeds, Chelsea. Three big games. Um, I don't expect to win them all. I'll be happy with three points, to be honest. But Because um, Chelsea are absolutely blitzing the season at the moment. Yeah, Man City wins the next game. Uh, that's the update on what's been going on in fixtures. We've actually had a little bit of transfer news. Um... I decided to check out the uh, the free transfers as it's coming towards the end of December and see who's going to come up. And I noticed that this guy was out of contract on the 1st of January. Gabriel Jesus. Um, he's not as quick as he once was. Um, he's still decent, like physically. Uh, he's still decent men technically and mentally. Um, oh, my word, what's going on here? It's a bit slow today. Um, yeah, technically and mentally pretty decent. Physically not fantastic, but... He's, he's okay. Um, AB, decent backup. I'm not nowhere near going to start him. Um, and I know I've got another backup striker, but it's nice to have him on the books just to see. I've got a couple of Brazilians in the team, like Polito. I know he's Uruguayan, but he's second nationality. He's Brazilian. And that um, Gustavo Enriquez. Um, yeah, I had a bit. This is a young right, right midfielder from Chelsea. He's apparently very highly rated and he's transfer listed. So I might, have a, I might take a punt at him in January, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's get straight into the, football, the, the games because I'm going to show you three today. Uh, and the first one is going to be Man City away. Um, I'm so happy with the way season started. Um, the, 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 the board opinion, you know, you have the rating of, you know, B or A. It's A plus for the first time it's ever, for the first time I've ever been manager of Concord, it's A plus. It's never been A plus before. Um, I th I I reckon usually they estimate it's going really slowly. I don't know what's happening with it at the moment. There's something wrong with my computer. Um, they usually estimate it's around forty points to survival. We're on thirty two, so we're 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 smashing and we're smashing it in terms of surviving it. Um, yeah, how slow is this? It actually went so slow before. This is actually the second take of this video because it was going so slow I had to restart the computer. This is mental. Okay, I'm hoping it kind of eases into it and might start to quick up a bit. But there you go, look, just click inbox. Now, how long has this taken? Shouldn't take more than a second. There you go, right. That's the preview of this weekend's fixtures. Big games in there, Chelsea, Liverpool, United, Spurs, all in the same division that we're in. It's so weird. 
our game away at Man City. Um, the Beach Boys are away at the Citizens. That's what they're calling it. That's their nickname. Oh, wow. Oh, the youth intake. One centre back looks promising. One of our winning wingers looks very handy. Good young left winger from South NC. This is always useful around sort of mid December. You get a youth intake update. Uh, it tells you about who's going to be coming through. Bit of a bit of a first hint as to what might be the the players that are coming through. Uh, yeah. It hasn't said usually if it if the if it thinks the intake is poor, it will say at the bottom, not a great intake. It hasn't said that. So um we'll keep an eye on them. A left winger. Yeah, so we've got a left winger and a decent centre back coming through. Okay, we need a decent left winger coming through, I guess. Um centre backs we're doing alright with, but I'd take anything at the moment. Youth intake at this at this sort of stage is really important. Not necessarily just to play them, but just to kind of um, grow them up and hopefully get some money from them because you got to be really if they if they're saying that they're a decent level they're going to be playing a decent level when we're in the Premier League and that's always a good sign. <clears throat> right, Man City. Um, I'm not nervous. We can if we can get a win, brilliant. If we can get a point, brilliant. Let's see how it goes. Man City have done all right. Yeah, they've started the season pretty well. Um, Chelsea, I'm really worried about. <laughs> but I was really worried about Liverpool. Liverpool we, we beat them. Okay. Oh, Man City away, as you can see. The brown. The brown is being used today. Still not used the black kit yet. Um, this is the second time that we'll be using the brown this season. But no black as of yet. Um, but yeah, we've got Leeds away. We've got another Leeds home. Two home games next. next. Oh, oh well. Okay. Man City away. Our form is inconsistent, but it's slightly better than Man City's form, apparently. War is back from injury, which is always good to see. Um, I, had, I had, obviously, War injured, and I had Bove injured, so I actually played Serenin out on the right, and he actually played all right. Uh, looks like they want to play more instead of Polito, but I am going to give Polito a go. Polito really needs to fit into the team. The only way he's going to do that is by playing. Um, so I'm going to give him a game. Uh, hope, hopefully so. Awesome. I, I like him to start really working together with some of the players we got out there. Yeah, Lapti, that uh, guy I got on trial. Daniel James, I got him off, I got him, have him on the bench, and I got to have Daniel James on the bench. Boy, has started to be ousted by the team. Brendan's playing really well and got a little a little partnership with Diogo on the left there. So Boy is starting to fall out of the team, which is a shame. He's been in there since since the National League, I think. Uh, Joe was struggling with match, match sharpness. Make sure to see a match. That's okay. He doesn't have to see out the match. I've got some players I can like James and Serena if I want to. Well, the Etihad. Uh, have we been in before? We haven't played Man City before, have we? No, we've played Arsenal, Liverpool, Man U, Chelsea. Never played Man City before. This is the first game against Man City. That's why I thought I'd show you it, to be honest. Um, it's a big game. Here we go. We're in the brown. Let's go. Pick up where they finished up in the last match. If we can beat Man City 3 I'll take that. We're in the brown. Let's see what happens. Come on, Concord. Polito. Oh, Peter's injured. That was a nice experiment. Thanks, Polito. Wowzers. Uh, Darren Moore, come on then. For him to play a playmaker in the midfielder because he can do it. That is really frustrating. Peter's never going to fit into the team if he keeps getting injured. We're holding our own as it stands at the moment. A highlight. What's going to happen? 
One ball forward, dealt with. Oh dear, they've fallen asleep in midfield there. Moore. Moore's got up his game. He's had a poor season thus far. Him and Polito, he's been tipped ahead of Polito because him Polito was supposed to be one of the best players in the league when I signed him. The assistant wants, prefers more to Polito, but Moore's really not had a good season thus far. War, I'm glad to have him back. War's been quality. Free kick. Oh, a good bar. Caton, what's he got? Here we go. Here's the man. Here is the man. Oh, he's been tackled. <laughs> it's a great tackle, to be fair. Joe Felix. Dealt with. Oh, I thought we had that. I thought we covered it. We're in trouble here. We're in trouble here. Caton gets the other way, but it's really he's come out of position. Vinicius Junior smashes it over. Jewel's not there, but Ferguson covers up. Nicely done. Enriquez puts it forward. Go on, Darren. Go on, Darren. Oh, what a chance. It is often the way that players I start to slag off in-game actually turn it around and show me what, they're, what they're about. It's happened a few times. I thought he was going to correct me there. Come on, Darren. What have you got, mate? What have you got? Nice ball. Pavlenko. Strange to see you on the left. That's why you shouldn't be out there, mate. That is poor. I hate it when it looks like it's going to be your highlight and then it breaks away. I hate it. I enjoy love it the other way around, to be fair. Um, oh, Vinicius. Yeah, they scored. Ah, looks like it was coming. Yeah, I mean, looking at the stats, we've got most possession, but not doing anything with it. Corner. Yeah, it's just right into the keeper's hands. So this is going to be their break. Oh, God. Don't go 2 0 down. Hadland is supposed to be one of the best players in the game. Oh, it's... fuck no. Deal with it. Oh, good save. It's a corner. Just trying to see it out. Don't concede again. See it out. Oh, Palomba's there. Okay, well, it's all Man City by the looks of it. We had one shot, but you go and prove a bloody point, lads. Come on. Again, it's our attacking players that don't seem to be doing much in the game. Pavlenko, War, Moore, Diogo, Ferguson, none of them are doing very well. Um, our defence is doing okay. It's a long ball. Oh, Diogo's there. Come on, Diogo. Come on, Diogo. Joe War's there. Drop it back, Joe. Oh, who was there? He actually did drop it back. Finley Ferguson's not not quite Premier League level, unfortunately. He was so good in the championship, but he's not quite suited for the Premier League. Edit. Oh, just gone wide. Joe War. Another highlight straight away. What's going to happen? Winks. A brow. Out of the way. Here we go. Come on, Joe. Go on, Joe. I always trust him on the ball. Come on, lad. What have you got? No one's there to help you out. Oh, what's Ferguson doing? Just lingering on the edge of the area. He's. I'm going to have a sh go at him. I'm going to have a go at him. Because that was poor from Ferguson. That really was. He just ha hung about on the edge. Oh, Diego is injured. Second injury of the game. Daniel James... And take off Ferguson. Really disappointed with him this season. That's the subs gone. That's all the subs. I just put a poor player on called Moran. Love it. It's probably Spanish. Close it, close it, close it. Close it down. Come on. That's it. Caton's there. Well, I don't know what Caton's doing at centre back. There you go. Right, Serenan. Get in the area, mate. Lovely work from Joe. Serena. Oh, what a save. Oh. Should be one all. Should be one all. Oh, 
I don't concede. Don't kill the dream. It's a penalty. But yeah, I was going to give that a penalty. Yeah. <sighs> penalty to Man City. Caton with the foul. Chance for them to make it two. Ja Felix. Saved! Gonzalo Palumba. Come on. Let's go. Got up the tempo here. We can't bloody play at this low tempo if we want to try and get a goal. It's, it's weird how it doesn't adjust. I'm going to have to try and... There's a way you can do it, apparently. I just don't know how to do it. Or you can get it to sort of automatically adjust depending on the game situation. More clears, but no one's there. Is the brown going to let us down? That rhymes. Right, here we go. More. Ball comes in. No one's there. It's going to be theirs, isn't it? It's going to be there. Oh, it's kept in by Caton. Oh, dear. Nice ball. It's Daniel James. Go on. He's there. Oh, no. We've actually done all right. We just need to start bloody scoring. Go on, lads. Go attack him. Uh, push forward. Six minutes of your time. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. It's going to be their attack, I think. Oh, he's run through. That's 2-0. Yeah. Come cool on the break. Didn't take our chances. That's what happens against these big teams. You don't take your chances, you don't win. They've had five clear-cut chances and we've had two. Five, conceding five clear-cut chances. I know they're a good team, but that's disappointing. Palomba's been brilliant by the looks of it. Uh, that's going to be it. 2-0 no loss. All right, we didn't play too badly. Yeah, I'm not... Hmm. <clears throat> A negative reaction to someone being kind. Um, I guess that's not a bad thing. I guess it's I'm going, well, we thought we could do better. I'm unhappy with a couple of players. There's a couple of players who aren't stepping up. Again, I know that Diogo's out for three to four weeks. We can't get away with injuries at the moment. Um, I know they're a good team. But there's a couple of players that aren't stepping up. Uh, Darren Moore. He's had a really average season. I think he's only scored one goal. Uh, Finley Ferguson, so he scored three goals. And he's our he's our first choice striker, and we're in December. Um, yeah, Diogo started the season really poorly. Yeah, they want thirty two million, which is their asking price. I reject it for now, and I'll see what they want come January. Because a lot of the time, when it when uh, they're struggling to sell, they lower the price. Diogo's gone. I might have to look into a backup left winger if he's going to keep on getting injured. Yeah, Diogo, considering this guy was after, you know, Barcelona wanted him for 80 million, um, didn't really play very, hasn't been playing brilliantly. Moore hasn't been playing very well. Ferguson hasn't been playing very well. Um, and obviously I, ha I was without war for about a month, so I really needed, I really need war back. But anyway, I'll move on. Skip on to the Leeds game. I'll see you in a second. Leeds. Leeds at home. Um, it's going to be a tricky one. Leeds are not too bad. 13th in the league. Um, but we've got to turn this around. We've got to get a result after the... Uh, I wouldn't say it's a poor result. Obviously, Man City were a very, are a very good team. But um, I felt like we could have got something out of that. But man, it just be Leicester 4-1. Um, I think that we could have gotten something out of that. Um, we had chances, which didn't take them. Got injuries and suspensions to deal with all over the pitch. Um, yeah, it's, it's we've got a few players, you know, I've got three you know, players I can't pick there. He wants to start James on the left, which is fair enough. We uh, That'll be his first start of the season. Last of March, Brent Caton, Enrique. I'm going to... Assuming Gordon's not match fit. Yeah, he's not. He's not quite sharp there. But neither's War, but he's going to start, isn't he? What's he say on the fitness test? 75 minutes? He has to play. He has to play all of it. Right. 
I'm going to start serening over Ferguson. Um, I might have to have a word of Ferguson. He's been pretty poor. I was really disappointed in that last game where Joe Wall was running back and he had no one to drop it to because Ferguson just waited on the edge of the area. He's like, you're a striker, so he's busting the gut to give him an opportunity. Which is what he was doing last year, but not this year. Um, okay. They got Bellow. We used to have him. And Smart, two old players. They're not playing. McHenry's on the bench. McHenry is brilliant, but he's on the bench. He's obviously one of our players. He's, we sold, signed it, sold him to them for 50 million. 51 million, I think it was. But yeah, so he's on the bench. That's a really weird one. But okay. Home to Leeds. Always like to get one over on Leeds. Let's try and do it today. Brennan. Lovely ball. Who's there? James. Oof. Come on. Starting well. Brennan again. Another throw in war. Brennan again. Puts it back post. No, he's there. Pavlenko's really suited the team at the moment. Joe War. Joe War's there. Go on, Joe. Oh, you got to do that, mate. You had the whole goal to aim at. You hit it right at the keeper. That was easy. Really easy chance for Joe War. But we're looking much the stronger team. Dan James. Pavlenko. What have you got? Ah, oh, that's it. Yeah, much a stronger team. Short pass and play. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Be patient. We'll find a way around him. Yeah, I'm surprised not starting McHenry. He's such a good player and seems to start the season really well. But yeah, whatever. Whatever. It's Leeds. Is this a Leeds highlight? It looks like it might be. Unless we can push forward. Come on, lads. Press. That's too late. And they found a way through. Just one long ball from the keeper. Oh, good save, Palomba. That's poor defending that. Mariko. Good head away by Larson. I think I've got a good, good defence, actually. I'm, I'm more happy with the defence than I've ever had. Ever have been. Um, the four centre-backs we've got, I'm really comfortable with. Here you go, Joe. Come on, then. Oh, he just caught it. That probably means that's not a highlight. That means it's probably going to be an attack off the back of this, whether it's that for them or us. No one's out there. It's one of the leads. Smart. Our old player. Set up by Bello. Another old, one of our old players. Oh dear. That is atrocious. We have dominated by the looks of it. And they've just had one. They just got forward and scored. Really shocking. Our attacking players again are failing us. Come on boys. Demand more from them. Oh. Giving away. It could be two. It's a good save. What is happening here? I'm going to have to give him an absolute roasting, I think. This is atrocious. Come on. Get a goal before half time. Get a goal before half time. They're pressing. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Drop it across. Gobby, get in there, Joe War. Fifth goal of the season. Great time to score. 45th minute. 1-1 one, one half time. Come on. What do I say to him? I say it's disappointing. Yeah, I'm going to go into him. I'm still going to go into him. We were letting him round the back. We were giving the ball away. We weren't doing enough with the ball up there. Look. Those front three players, more James and Serena. Luckily, War got a goal, but 6.5, 6.4. It just seems as though we're, get, we're out going through games and our attacking players are doing nothing. Pavlenko's at 6.4. Come on, lads. What is going on here? Focus after feedback don't mean anything unless you do something. McHenry's come on. Right, make some substitutions because this ain't working. Let's bring on Polito. Luckily, his injury didn't mean he misses the get missed the game. And I go with Ferguson. Let's see if we got some that. That's going to play attack in. Up the tempo. 
Well, that's not impressive at the moment. Not impressive. Come on, push forward. Nothing's happening. Absolutely nothing's happening. Oh dear, this is going to fade away, isn't it? It's going to be another bloody draw. We love a draw. Nothing happened in that second half at all. What a disappointing performance that was. Really disappointing. Yeah, they're getting a bollocking for that. That was not good enough at all. Defence did well, but it's that attacking lineup at the moment. It really worries me because they go through games and they do nothing. They do nothing. Yeah, I'm at, I'm really annoyed with that. Okay. Very smart. Couldn't score on a month of Sundays for us. All right. That's that game. That's game number two sorted. And now we move on to the Boxing Day game only Chelsea. Two in a sec. Chelsea. Um, big game they've been really good this season I know they're second but um, it's between them and I think it's Liverpool at the top uh, da, 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 Premier League Arsenal yeah uh, Arsenal actually six points clear so Chelsea must have dropped a couple of points recently but uh, they've been free scoring um, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool scoring lots of goals uh, we're going to have to be flipping good today um, weirdly enough in between the last two games I've had a bid from Celtic for Daniel James they want him for the for around around sort of two three million I was like oh, I could but that means I have to go out of my way to go and find a replacement which is what uh, which is what I need so I'm not I do want to accept especially because Diogo is injured at the moment as well right what are they saying then? What are they saying? They want Ferguson, Declan Weezer. Okay, I'll give Ferguson a go. I had a word with him after the last game to attempt to up his form. So it's only fair that I give him a chance to prove that and a chance to turn it around. Uh, Bove can play 45 minutes. So I think I'm going to put him on the bench for a boy. Yeah, I'll put him on the bench. Not necessarily play him, but there you go. Moore, James, Pavlenko. They want to play more. He is against his old side, so it might be worth doing that. Keep Polito on the bench as a reserve. Yeah. Ideally, I wouldn't have Jane starting, but there you go. Looks like I think uh, I've just been told as well that the Pavlenko and Enrico are starting to have a good partnership, which is good. Always nice to see that. Okay. Chelsea at home. Boxing day. I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas. Did you have a nice Christmas? I was sat here worried about this next game, is what I was doing. They're going to be in their away strip. Yeah, go out and prove a point. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Show them what we're about. Oh, dear. Highlight already, right at the beginning of the game. Let's make it a good one. Ah, I think it might be a Chelsea one. It's coming into the way. They've got Erling Haaland up front as well, by the way. He's obviously a little bit older now. Oh, lovely touch by Joe Wall, that. What's he got? He's going around the outside. Come on, Joe. Talk about mate. Who's there? Philly Ferguson. 33 seconds. I had a word with him and it has worked. I am a genius of a man manager. I took him to a side. I'm going to just sort of stop that for now because they've equalised. Bloody Harland. Oh, didn't last. Oh. Oh, it's been disallowed. The AR has come through for us. Yeah, I took him aside after the last game, said, you got up before, mate, it's not quite working. And he said, fair enough, I agree. And he's come back, and after 33 seconds in the in the next game, he's gone, he's gone and put us, put us ahead. Brilliant. It's like Caton picked up a bit of a knock, but it looks like he should be able to get through. Come on, come on. Caton gets it away. Who's there? Is that's the time, because I want Joe War breaking onto it, really. Oh, that's a lovely goal. John Venberg. Lovely goal. Yeah, a bit annoyed at Caton for letting him come inside there. Come on. I'm going to encourage the boys. We can do this. 
Another highlight. He's got on a back because Brennan left him. Oh, that's offside. Surely that's offside. It's at the post anyway. That was offside. Yeah, I would have had a look at that, surely. Right, what's it saying? What's it saying? Brennan, focus is there again. Oh. Goal kick. Ferguson, he's back, mate. He's back. What have we got? Brennan. War. Lovely ball. Caton. Ferguson's there. 2 1. 2 1. Beautiful ball from Caton. Ferguson again. Oh, that talk, that little word I had with him. His bloody work wonders. There's another chance now to Caton. What's going to happen? He flips out to the left. Brennan. Joe Wall. Oh, blimey, that would have been goal of the season if that had gone in. Half time. 2 1 up. Ferguson scored in the first and last minute of that first half. Come on. Yes. I'm, I'm going to encourage him. This is brilliant. Uh, I'm happy with the performance. Keep it up. Come on. Buzzing with Ferguson. Absolutely buzzing that he's turned that around there. Well done, lad. Right. Come on, the wing against Chelsea would be bloody brilliant. How many would have beaten Man United, Liverpool and Chelsea? Right. Stay strong. Stay strong. It's Haaland. Uh-oh. Connolly. Oh, clip the crossbar. You've gone away with it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Again, those attacking midfielders, mate. I don't get it. I don't... I can't find any consistency in them. Apparently, Bovey can play on the left now. So I'm going to give him some time out there. Oh, doesn't look like he can play on the left. I'm going to give him some time out there. He, I, I, I got a training report recently that he, he can play on the left. So I'm going to do that. Look at all those bookings. Jesus, I'm going to have to take one of them off. I'm going to do it now before anyone makes a stupid error. Uh-oh. Um, I'm going to bring on White Wakeham for Pavlenko. He's a ball winner, so he can go in there. Hmm. Oh, he's just gone on the back, Harland. He doesn't miss. Oh, that is unfortunate. Keeper saved it, but he puts in the rebound. 2-2. Two -two. Frustrating. I knew I should have told him to drop back. I don't know what to do now. They got Marcus Rashford, by the way. They signed him this season. He actually left Man United. Free kick. Joe War. It's in! It's Declan Ariza! 3-2! Come on! Right. Bloody defend for your lives, boys. Defend, defend, defend. Waste loads of time. Waste it. Just waste all of the time. All of it. Hold press. Slow pace down. Yes. Out of possession. Drop back. Not all the way. Don't want to give him too much room. Drop back. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Ease off. Another booking. Come on. Come on, boys. What a, what a Boxing Day present this will be. Get in there. Come on. Finley Ferguson, man of the match, rightfully so. Joe War pitching in. Deccan Oweedza getting a goal. Absolutely buzzing with that. Get in there. After a couple of worrying results, we have turned it around and beaten Chelsea. Come on. Lovely couple. I'm buzzing with Ferguson. I had a word with him after the last game. Tend to sort his ideas out. And he is pitched in with a couple of goals, taking his tie to five. Get in there. Ease pass. It was not easy. Look at that. Possession was pretty much level. Shots was pretty much level. That was not easy. Buzzing. Yeah, praise him. Rightfully so. 
you were superb. Lads, I'm glad we can end on a win. Um, lovely stuff. Christmas period, the game's come thick and fast. So I'm going to start sort of rotating the squad a little bit. Uh, we've, I've just, we've obviously got an FA Cup game coming up with um, Fleetwood away. And we've got a big three games here. Look, four games. Look at that. And the Leeds as well. Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Man United. I'm going to do a big, mega four-game episode in the next one. We've done three today. I want to show you as ma ma many games as possible because it's the Premier League. And to have those four games... Is that Man City afterwards as well? Oh, my word. Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Man United, Leeds, Man City. What a six games that's going to be. <laughs> Got to have Spurs soon after as well, aren't we? Oh, Spurs as much later. Look at that. Absolutely mental six games. I don't think I could do a six-game episode. Uh, maybe two three-game episodes. That might be good, wouldn't that? Might it? Yeah, I'll do two three-game episodes. And then you'll see six consecutive games over two episodes. That'll be good. That'll be nice. Um, yeah, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal will be the next episode. Um, I'm assuming actually is if we win the cup game, there might be a cup game chucked in in between there as well. I'll skip through that. And the next one will be Man United, Leeds, Man City. It's an exciting time, boys. We're in the Premier League. Every game is difficult, but especially when you have those six lined up in a row. Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Man United, Leeds, Man City. Bloody hell, lads. The Beach Boys are making their mark in the Premier League. We are up to 7th at the moment. Um, we have beaten in the first 19 games. So that, I think that means now we've played everyone once. We have beaten Chelsea. We have beaten Liverpool. We have beaten Man United. We have beaten Tottenham. Of that top six, we've only lost to Arsenal and Man City. How many of them games were away? Liverpool was away, but I think the other three were home, weren't they? Yeah. There you go, lads. Buzzing with that. It's exciting times. We've only lost three games, which is pretty decent. As many as Chelsea, who would just be just those draws, really. But look at that. We are... There's only two points separating second and seventh. That's crazy. The Arsenal running away with the title. Excellent stuff, lads. I am so excited to be getting on with this. Huge games coming up. January coming up as well. I might look to strengthen some of the squads, see who comes available. I'm only going to strengthen with quality. I'm not going to chuck in players that are not going to be are going to be rotational. I'm going to be chucking in if I can get quality players, then they'll be going in. But not nothing, not unless they're definite quality. But there you go. I hope you had a good Christmas. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Like, subscribe. Cheers, Dad.